I could ask you to join me. I know Janet doesn't like surprises. We like to go off script once in a while, though. <laughs> Janet, as this day approached, and I thought about you in your new role, I realized just how much you are and have become a part of all of us. All of us who are here today, but all of those around the globe who feel connected to Gettysburg College. A graduate of the class of 1977, and I understand that a few of your classmates are here today. You're connected, connected to some 24,000 alumni strong. But you joined the faculty of this institution in 1981, and so you have been a faculty member for a very, very long time. At first, I understand you lived outside of the borough, but in 1991, moved into Gettysburg. So we have a president who is truly a part of the community, and I think that's so important. Clearly now, as the president, you are a vital part of the administration. And when the board chose to elect you as the 14th president of Gettysburg College, you became a member of the Board of Trustees. Again, I know you don't like surprises, but we feel very, very close to you. And I want to tell you that in your honor, a special gift has been initiated by the Board of Trustees. It is an endowed fund that will be named the Janet Morgan Riggs 77 Scholarship Fund. We can think of nothing more fitting or meaningful to present to you a scholar and a teacher than the gift of an endowed scholarship to benefit the students whom you have served tirelessly and with so much passion. Now here's the hook. See, I included all of you. It is the board's hope that the members of the college's other constituencies, as well as friends of the college, will join us in adding to this fund and recognizing Janet's hard work and dedication. We know that the future students who benefit from this fund will carry your name with pride and will do great work with the Gettysburg spirit that you embody. to ask Trustee Bob Delks to join us. Thank you. Well, that's a tough act to follow. <laughs> Janet, as you know, the charter of Gettysburg College states, the purpose of Gettysburg College is to serve the cause of liberal education in changing times by providing a community of learning both inside and outside of the classroom, committed to the discovery, exploration, and evaluation of the ideas and actions of humankind, and to the creative extension of that developing heritage, and the promotion of music, the arts, theater, leadership, volunteerism within the local, regional, and global communities. All of us would agree that's a very tall order. As a trustee and chair of the Presidential Search Committee, I know we have found the right person at the right time to take this great institution to higher levels and to fulfill that purpose. It's my pleasure and my honor to present President Janet Morgan Riggs, class of 1977, I'll put in another plug, as the unanimous choice of the search committee to be the 14th president of our beloved institution. Please join me in congratulating President Riggs.
Thank you. I'm going to present her again, so you'll get another crack at this. <laughs> As chair of the Board of Trustees, it is my privilege to announce that the Board of Trustees has chosen you, Janet Morgan Riggs, to be the president of Gettysburg College. Yours will be the responsibility of leading Gettysburg College to the fulfillment of its great promise for years to come. The bylaws of the college specify the duties of the president. As president, you shall be the chief executive officer of the college, and as such, shall exercise superintendence over all the affairs of the institution and manage the overall activities and strategies of the college. Do you accept these duties? I do. As president, you shall be the official medium of communication between members of the faculty or the student body and the board of trustees. You will preside at public exercises of the college and be the official representative and key spokesperson of the college on all appropriate occasions. Do you accept these responsibilities? I do. <laughs> and now, by virtue of the authority granted to the Gettysburg College Board of Trustees by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I install you as the 14th president of Gettysburg College as a symbol of the high office which you now hold, I present to you the presidential medallion and chain. get that straighter for the photographs, I promise you that. <laughs> On behalf of the trustees, I affirm you as the 14th president of Gettysburg College. I assure you of our confidence in you and pledge our support as you guide this institution into the future. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you the friends and family of this great institution, the 14th president of Gettysburg College, Janet Morgan Riggs. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.